Hi, Dale coming to you from my garage again. And this week I'm gonna show you how I made this little seat for my wife at her school. She uses this in her little reading corner area of her classroom. Originally, I thought I wasn't gonna show this because it was so basic of an idea, so simple of a build that nobody would really care. I then came back and said, well, that's kind of silly someone may find the value of this. So if you don't, you can skip ahead. If so, I'm gonna show you how I built this. I'm sorry, I don't have a video of it being built, but it's very simple. I'll be able to explain it just fine. My wife found these little orange crates at Walmart for something like four bucks or something like that. She got four of them. Yeah, you could make these out of wood, but she found them for four bucks, she grabbed them. I then created out of scrap the seat that fits on nice and neat, nice and solid, very solid. I can sit on this no problem. I did have to buy the fabric and the little padding that goes below this. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera in a little closer and show you how I built this. The first thing that you want to do is you want to measure the inside both ways of the crate. Once you get those measurements down, you can go ahead and put it aside. The next steps are to find a couple of pieces of wood. I have three quarter inch MDF and I've got three quarter inch plywood underneath this. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut this inside piece here to the same measurements that you took for the inside of the crate. Easy peasy. The next thing you're going to want to do is cut your larger piece, which will actually become the seat. I cut it about an inch and a half all the way around for an overhang. You cut that out, you glue this down. I put a few screws into it to hold it while the glue dries. Put it down right in the center. From there, dust some of that dirt off. From there, simple as can be. I, I went and I bought some foam padding from Walmart. Use spray adhesive, sprayed it to the top of the seat. I first made sure to test the adhesive to make sure it wouldn't melt out the foam. Glued it to the top of the seat, got fabric, got the piece of material centered over it. You turn it over, you wrap it around tight, staple it down, there you go. You got yourself a perfect little seat. Works perfect. This inside, this inside part right here fits right in. Perfect. So there you go. You can see no problem holding even someone as size as me, all 105 pounds of me, bouncing up and down. Super strong. Padding works great. Each one probably took literally probably about 10 minutes to make. Real, real easy. I did these in between glue ups, waiting for glue to dry on the other project that I'm working on at the same time, which is a dry erase board for my wife's classroom. So if you liked it, give a thumbs up, subscribe. If you didn't, I'll try to do a better video next, next time. See ya.